Hello students. The question states that using the energy conservation, derive the expressions for the minimum speeds at different locations along a vertical circular motion controlled by gravity. Is zero speed possible at the uppermost point? Under what conditions? Also prove that the difference between the extreme tensions or normal forces depends only upon the weight of the object. So now let us look at the diagram. So here we can see that uh, a body is performing vertical circular motion. So now let us see that here we are denoting the topmost point as T, bottommost point as B and the midpoint as N. And we are taking that it is performing a uh, anti-clockwise circular motion, right? So we have taken uh, velocity at bottom as VB, velocity at midpoint as VM and velocity at v, uh, topmost point as VT. And we have taken the radius to be L, right? Radius to be L. And at topmost point, we can see that there is no tension. There is only weight. And at the bottommost point, there is weight as well as tension. Now, if we write the e equation for energy at the topmost point, then it will be the combination of kinetic energy and potential energy, right? So here we can see that uh, we are writing our energy equation, then it is the kinetic energy half mvt square plus 2 mgl, which is the potential energy, right? Now, in the topmost uh, situation, we also see that the weight is giving us the centripetal force, right? mg is equal to mvt square by L. Now, if we combine both the equation, right? If we put mvt square as mgl in the first equation, then we get our E as uh, mgl by 2 plus 2 mgl, right? So our E comes out to be 5 by 2 mgl. Now, if we put this uh, value equate with, with uh, the second equation, then we get velocity at uh, T at topmost point as root over of gl. Now, for the lowest point here, if we write the equation for energy, then here we have only the kinetic energy. Our potential energy at the lowest point is zero. So uh, the kinetic energy at the lowest point is half mvb square, which will be equal to the total energy, which uh, which will be equal to the energy at the topmost point as there is energy conservation. So the total energy at topmost point will be equal to total energy at the bottommost point, or it will be equal to uh, total energy at any point because the total energy will be conserved. Right, so the lowest point we get velocity B, V, B, velocity at bottom as root over 5 GL. Now for the midpoint, uh, if we again uh, write the equation uh, for energy, then we get E equals to half M V M square plus M G L. Now if we equate this energy to the energy at bottom point, then we get E equals to half M V M square plus M G L equals to half uh, m v b squared so here we get our uh, now on solving the equations we get our velocity at midpoint to be root 3 gl you can uh, check out all the equations step by step equation it will come out uh, to be vm as root 3 gl now we were asked that if the body can have uh, zero velocity at topmost point so the answer is yes the uh, the body at topmost point can have zero velocity. So for that uh, condition, we'll uh, write the equation uh, equation of energy at topmost point. So as we are seeing that we are taking the velocity at topmost point to be zero. So our kinetic energy at topmost point will be also zero. So we will uh, be uh, left with only potential energy. Now as the energy is conserved, so the energy at uh, the topmost point will be equal to energy at bottommost point so we will equate the energy at topmost point and bottommost point so if we will solve the equation we will get that for the velocity to be zero at the topmost point velocity at bottommost point should be root over of 4 gl this is the condition uh, for which it will satisfy that at topmost point we will have zero velocity now for extreme tensions we can see here that at topmost point we are not having any tension why is it so because the weight of the object is towards downward right 
so as weight is is in the direction of the string so it will not be tensed right but in the bottom most point as the weight is opposite to the string so it will have some tension right so if we want to find the difference of tensions between both the extreme points so we will what we will do is we will equate uh, the tensions right so if, if we will uh, see that tension at uh, zero uh, at topmost point is zero and at b our tension is found out by uh, getting the centripetal acceleration at bottom most point right so at bottom most point what we are doing is that we are seeing that our tension or our force in vertical direction will provide uh, top vertical direction will provide the centripetal acceleration so here mv b square by l is the centripetal acceleration will be which will be provided by t minus mg this is the net vertical force right t minus mg is the net vertical force so from this equation we will get our tension so from here we can see that if we put a vb as a 5 gl so we get our tb or tension at bottom point is 6 mg now here it is to note that mg is our weight mass into gravity is our weight so we got that at bottom most point our uh, tension our tension is 6 times mg 6 times the weight and as we know that at our topmost point uh, the tension is zero so the difference of the extreme tensions that tb minus tt is 6 mg minus 0 which will be equal to 6 mg or 6 w which is 6 weight so we can see that the difference of extreme tensions is proportional to our weight so i hope you understood all the uh, steps and uh, uh, the solution given for the given question thank you